Hello everyone! Welcome to another online math class. I am Sir Mark and I will be your guide throughout this lesson. For today's video, we will be discussing the first part of our lesson under Module 2, Week 2 of the third quarter, which is about theorems on rectangle, rhombus, and square. Last week, we talked about the different kinds of parallelogram and one of which is rectangle. We defined rectangle as a parallelogram with four right angles. Now, let's have the theorems on rectangle. Theorem number one. If a parallelogram has a right angle, then it has four right angles, and the parallelogram is a rectangle. Ang gusto lang sabihin ng theorem na ito na kung sa isang paralelogram daw ay may isang right angle, ibig sabihin lahat ng angles na nandito sa paralelogram na to ay puro right angles. Ibig sabihin meron siyang four right angles at yung paralelogram na yon ay isang rectangle. Alright, so let's take a look at this parallelogram. Parallelogram M-A-R-K. Kung papansinin, si angle M lang ang ipinakita dito na right angle. So, paano natin nasabi na si angle M ay isang right angle? Dahil dun sa maliit na square na nasa kanya. Ang ibig sabihin ng maliit na square niyan, ang sinisimbolize niyan, ay ang pagiging right angle ng isang angle. Alright? So, therefore, we could say that the measure of angle M is equal to 90 degrees. Kasi nga, right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. Alright? So, isa lang yung sinabi dyan o pinakita na right angle si angle M lang. Pero ang sabi sa theorem, kahit isa lang daw yung makita natin na right angle sa isang paralelogram, automatic na yung paralelogram na yun ay may apat na right angle. Okay? So, paano nangyari yun? So, tignan muna natin yung measure ni angle A. So, i- Kunin muna natin yung relationship ni angle M at ni angle A. So, we know that angle M and angle A are consecutive angles. Magkasunod sila. Tama? E since we are talking about parallelogram, ano ba ang meron sa consecutive angles in a parallelogram? Ang sabi sa property ng parallelogram regarding consecutive angles that consecutive angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. Ibig sabihin, pag in natin yung measure ni angle M at measure ni angle A, equal yan sa 180 dapat. Alright? E si angle M measures 90 degrees. Ibig sabihin, si angle A, para maging supplementary siya ni angle M, dapat 90 degrees din siya. Alright? Ibig sabihin, the measure of angle A is equal to 90 degrees. Ibig sabihin, si angle A ay isa ding right angle. Okay? So ngayon, doon naman tayo kay angle R. Okay? So ngayon, pag kinuha naman natin yung relationship ni angle M at ni angle R, ano sila? They are opposite angles. So since again, we are talking about parallelogram, ano ba ang meron sa opposite angles in a parallelogram? Ang sabi sa property, in a parallelogram, any two opposite angles are congruent. Kung si angle M measures 90 degrees, ibig sabihin si angle R then measures 90 degrees. Alright? Ibig sabihin right angle din siya. And last, ang kulang na lang natin si angle K. E ano ba ang relationship ni angle M at ni angle K? Again, they are consecutive angles. Ibig sabihin the sum of their measure is equal to 180 kasi nga dapat supplementary ang consecutive angles. Tama? Ibig sabihin, kung si angle M is equal to 90, then the measure of angle K is also equal to 90 degrees. Para, pag in natin sila, 180 ang sagot. Alright? So, kitang-kita natin dyan na isa lang yung pinakita na right angle, si angle M lang. Pero, ang lumabas, lahat pala ng angles sa loob ng parallelogram na yan ay puro right angle. And that parallelogram is what we call a rectangle. Okay? 
Theorem number 2. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, yung diagonals daw ng rectangle ay congruent. Again, pag sinabing congruent, equal ang measure. Alright? At pag sinabi naman nating diagonals, these are the segments joining two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. Okay? So, let's take a look at this rectangle. Rectangle M-A-R-K. So, nasaan ba yung mga diagonals natin dyan? Okay, so we have first diagonal M-R. And the other diagonal is diagonal A-K. So, ngayon, sabi sa theorem na ito, yung mga diagonals na yan ay congruent to each other daw. Meaning, equal ang measurements nila. Okay, kaya we could say that Diagonal MR or segment MR is equal to segment AK. Now, para mas maunawaan natin ang sinasabi ng theorem na ito, let's have an example. Quadrilateral RYAN is a rectangle with diagonals RA and YN. Diagonal RA measures 2x minus 7. And diagonal YN measures X plus 5. Now, we are asked to find the measure of diagonal RA and the measure of diagonal YN. Now, ito yung ating rectangle. Okay, this is rectangle RYAN with diagonals RA and YN. Sabi sa problem natin, yung measure daw ni diagonal RA is 2X minus 7. And then, yung measure daw ni diagonal YN is X plus 5. So, ang kailangan natin hanapin dito is yung exact measure ni diagonal RA at yung exact measure ni diagonal YN. Okay? So, paano gagawin natin? So, we know that in the theorem, ang sabi doon, diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin sabihin na diagonal RA is congruent to diagonal YN. Okay? Or segment RA is congruent to segment YN. Now, since congruent, yan dalawang diagonals na yan, ibig sabihin, their measures are equal. Tama? Ibig sabihin, the measure of segment RA is equal to the measure of segment YN. Okay? So, kasi nga, congruent sila. Kaya, equal ang measurement nila. Now, dahil ang pinag-uusapan na natin ay measurement, pwede na tayong mag-substitute. Alright? So, pwede na nating palitan si RA ng measure niya, which is 2x minus 7, which is equal to the measure of segment YN, which is x plus 5. Alright? Now, meron na tayong resulting linear equation dito na 2x minus 7 is equal to x plus 5. Ngayon, ang kailangan nila nating gawin, is to combine like terms. Pero, para makombine natin yung mga like terms na yan, kailangan natin mag-transpose. Alright? So, si negative 7 na nasa left side, kailangan natin ilipat papuntang right side. At pag nilipat natin siya doon, magiging positive 7 na siya. Okay? Then, doon naman sa right side, kailangan natin mailipat si x papuntang left side para kasama niya na si 2x. Alright? So, pag nilipat natin si x papuntang left side, magbabago din ang sign niya. Kaya, si x ay magiging negative x. Therefore, the resulting equation would be 2x minus x is equal to 5 plus 7. Now, pwede na nating i-combine yung mga like terms. So, we know that 2x minus x is equal to x, which is equal to 5 plus 7 that is 12. Very good. So, the value of x is equal to 12. Pero remember, hindi naman si x ang hinahanap natin. We are asked to find the exact measure of diagonals R, A, and Y, N. Now, dahil meron na tayong x, pwede na nating hanapin yung mga measure na yon. Let's start with diagonal R, A. So, ang measure niya is 2x minus 7. So, ang kailangan lang natin gawin is to substitute the value of x nung na-compute natin kanina. Alright? So, palitan lang natin si x ng 12. Kaya tayo ay magkakaroon ng 2 times 12 minus 7. 
And we know that 2 times 12 is equal to 24 minus 7. And what is 24 minus 7? The answer is, very good, 17. Therefore, the measure of segment RA is equal to 17. Okay, next, do naman tayo kay segment YN, which is equal to X plus 5. Now, papalitan lang natin si X ng value kanina na nasolve natin, which is 12. So, therefore, 12 plus 5. And we know that 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. Therefore, si segment YN measures 17 then. Okay, so kung makikita natin si RA ay talagang congruent kay YN kasi pareho silang 17. Alright? Here are the other properties of rectangle. So, yung ibang mga properties dito ay galing mismo kay parallelogram because rectangle is a parallelogram. And yung iba naman na properties dito ay galing mismo sa definition ni rectangle. Let's have number one. Opposite sides are congruent. Number two. Opposite sides are parallel. Number three. Each diagonal separates the rectangle into two congruent triangles. Number four, opposite angles are congruent. Number five, consecutive angles are supplementary. Number six, all angles are right angles. And number seven, diagonals bisect each other and are congruent. Now, let's have the theorems on rhombus. So remember that rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So here are the theorems on rhombus. Theorem number one. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular and bisect each other. Ang sabi sa theorem na ito, Yung mga diagonals daw ng rhombus ay perpendicular to each other. E ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng perpendicular? Pag sinabi nating perpendicular, nag intersect sila at nakabuo ng right angle. Alright? And then, ang sabi rin sa theorem na ito, na yung mga diagonals na yon bisect each other. Again, ano nga ulit ibig sabihin pag sinabing bisect? Pag sinabing bisect, hinahati nila yung isa't isa into two congruent parts. Alright, so let's have this rhombus. Rhombus M-A-R-K with diagonals M-R and A-K na nag-intersect at point O. So ayan, nakita natin na nag-intersect talaga yung mga diagonals na yan. At nung nag-intersect sila, nakabuo sila ng right angle. Okay, so ayan, nakita naman natin yung maliit na square dyan. Ibig sabihin, right angle talaga yan. Okay, so ibig sabihin na those diagonals are perpendicular. Okay, so in symbols, that is segment MR is perpendicular to segment AK. So tignan yung inverted T na symbol, ha? So yan ang ginagamit to show perpendicularity. Okay, again, pag sinabi perpendicular, nag-intersect at naka-form ng right angle. Okay, kaya yung mga ibang... Angles yan na nabuo din, they are all right angles. Alright? And then, sabi rin sa theorem na ito that the diagonals bisect each other or hinahati nila yung isa't isa into two congruent segments. Kaya nga, sa diagonal MR, meron tayo dyan dalawang maliit na segment na nabuo. We have segment MO which is congruent to segment RO. Alright? Kasi nga, hinahati daw yan into two congruent parts. So, ganun din naman yung kay diagonal AK. So, nahati din naman siya into two congruent parts. So, nasaan yun? So, we have segment AO is congruent to segment KO. Alright? Theorem number two. Each diagonal of a rhombus bisect opposite angles. So, ang gusto lang sabihin ng theorem na ito, 
na yung bawat diagonal daw ng rhombus ay binabisect yung opposite angles. Again, pag sinabi bisect, dinidivide into two congruent parts o hinahati into two congruent parts. Okay? So, sino yung hinahati ni, ng bawat diagonals dito? Yung opposite angles. Alright? So, let's have this rhombus. Rhombus, M-A-R-K. So, ngayon, ang titignan muna natin is si diagonal MR. Okay? So, itong diagonal MR na to, binaisek niya yung dalawang opposite angles. At sino yung dalawang opposite angles? Si angle M at si angle R. Alright? So, si angle M, nung na-bisect siya, nakabuo siya ng dalawang maliit na angle. So, papangalanan nating angle 1 and angle 2. So, dahil na-bisect nga siya, ibig sabihin, congruent yan dalawang angle na nabuo na yan. So, we could say that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. At syempre, dito naman kay angle R, dahil nabisect din siya, makakabuo din siya ng dalawang maliit na angle. And papangalanan natin siyang angle 3 and angle 4. So, dahil nabisect siya, ibig sabihin, yung dalawang angle na yan ay congruent to each other. Therefore, we could say that angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. Alright? Next, dito naman tayo kay diagonal AK. So, sino naman yung mga angles na nabisect ni diagonal AK? Si, very good, angle A at si angle K. So, doon muna tayo tumingin kay angle A. So, si angle A, nung nabisect siya, nakabuo tayo dito ng dalawang maliit na angle. So, papangalanan natin angle 5 and angle 6. So, dahil nga siya ay nabisect, Ibig sabihin, congruent ang measurement niyan. O congruent yung dalawang angles na yan. Therefore, we could say that angle 5 is congruent to angle 6. Then, doon naman tayo kay angle K. So, itong si angle K, nung nabisect, nakabuo din ng dalawang maliit na angle. So, papangalanan natin siyang angle 7 and angle 8. Alright, so nung nabisect siya, yung maliit, dalawang maliit na angles na yan ay congruent to each other. Okay? Therefore, we could say that angle 7 is congruent to angle 8. Alright? So, para mas maunawaan natin yung sinasabi ng theorem na ito, let's have an example. RYAN is a rhombus with diagonal YN. So, here is rhombus RYAN. Alright? So, ang diagonal niya daw ay si YN. So, let's continue. So, the measure of angle R and Y is equal to 3x plus 10. So, nasaan si R and Y? Ito si R and Y. Ang measure daw ng angle na yan is 3x plus 10. And then, the measure of angle A and Y is equal to 2x plus 20. So, nasaan naman si angle A and Y? So, ito si angle A and Y. Ang measure daw niya is 2x plus 20. Now, Find the measure of angle R and Y, the measure of angle N A Y, and the measure of angle N, yung pinakabuong angle. Okay? So again, ang pinapahanap sa atin dito is the measure of angle R and Y, the measure of angle A and Y, and the measure of angle N. Okay? So ngayon, paano natin to isusolve? So, according dun sa ating theorem na each diagonal bisects opposite angles. So, ibig sabihin, dahil binabisect daw niya yung opposite angles, ibig sabihin, yung mga maliliit na angle na nabuo are congruent to each other. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, we could say that angle R and Y is congruent to angle A and Y. Tama? Kasi siya yung, sila yung part ni angle N na nabisect. Okay? So, dahil sinabi na natin that the two angles are congruent, ibig sabihin, their measures are equal. Therefore, the measure of angle R and Y is equal to the measure of angle A and Y. And from here, pwede na tayong mag-substitute. Pwede na natin palitan yung measure ni angle R and Y ng 3x plus 10, which is equal to Papalitan natin yung measure ni angle A and Y, which is 2x plus 20. 
Therefore, meron na tayong resulting linear equation dito na 3x plus 10 is equal to 2x plus 20. Then, ano na ang susunod natin gagawin? So, ang kailangan na natin gawin is to combine like terms. Pero, bago tayo makapag-combine like terms, kailangan mapagsama-sama muna natin yung mga like terms na yon sa iisang side. Okay? O sa kanya-kanyang side. Alright? So, para magawa natin yon, we have to transpose. So, dito sa right side, ang gagawin natin, ita-transpose natin si 10 papuntang right side. At pag nilipat natin si 10, magiging negative 10 siya. Dito naman sa right side, ang kailangan natin i-transpose ay si 2x papuntang left side of the equation. At pag nilipat natin si 2x, magiging negative 2x na siya. Alright? So, the resulting linear equation would be 3x minus 2x is equal to 20 minus 10. Okay? And from here, pwede na natin i-combine yung mga like terms. So, we know that 3x minus 2x is equal to x, which is equal to 20 minus 10 is equal to 10. Ayan, meron na tayong value ng x. At dahil meron na tayong value ng x, we could now find the measure of angle R and Y, the measure of angle A and Y, and the measure of angle M, yung pinakabuong angle na. Alright, so let's start with the measure of angle R and Y. So, ang measure niya is 3x plus 10. Alright, so ngayon, magsasubstitute na tayo. Papalitan na natin si x ng 10. So, that would be 3 times 10 plus 10. And we know that 3 times 10 is equal to 30 plus 10. Therefore, the measure of angle R and Y is equal to 40. Alright? Next. Dito naman tayo kay measure angle A and Y, which is equal to 2x plus 20. So, ang gagawin lang natin is to substitute the value of x. Palitan lang natin si x ng 10. So, that would be 2 times 10 plus 20. And we know that 2 times 10 is equal to 20. Therefore, that's 20 plus 20. And what is 20 plus 20? That is... Very good. It's 40. Therefore, the measure of angle A and Y is also equal to 40. So, ngayon nakita natin na talagang congruent yung dalawang angle na yan. Si angle R and Y at si angle A and Y. Kasi pareho sila ng measure. Alright? So, ang kulang na lang natin is the measure of angle N. So, paano ba natin makukuha ang measure ni angle N o yung kabuuan na angle na yan? So, ang kailangan lang natin gawin is to add the smaller angles na nabuo. Alright? So, we can say that the measure of angle N is equal to the measure of angle R and Y plus the measure of angle A and Y. So, ngayon, substitute na natin. So, that would be 40 plus 40. And we know that 40 plus 40 is equal to... Very good. It's 80. Therefore, the measure of angle N is equal to 80. Alright? Here are the other properties of rhombus. Number one, all the sides are congruent. Number two, opposite sides are parallel. Number three, each diagonal separates the rhombus into two congruent triangles. Number four, opposite angles are congruent. Number five, Consecutive angles are supplementary. And last, number six, diagonals bisect each other and are perpendicular. And last, theorem on square. So remember that square is a parallelogram with four right angles and four congruent sides. Now, let's have the theorem on square. Theorem number one. Diagonals of a square bisect each other, are congruent, and are perpendicular. So kung mababansin nyo, pinagsama-sama na dito yung mga theorems ng rectangle at rhombus. Kasi nga, si square is a special kind of parallelogram. Kaya lahat ng meron kay rectangle at rhombus at mismo kay parallelogram ay nandito kay square. Alright, so ang sinasabi dito na 
yung mga diagonals daw ng square bisect each other, meaning hinahati nila yung isa't isa into two congruent parts, are congruent, yung mga diagonals daw dito ay congruent, ibig sabihin equal ang measure, and itong mga diagonals na to ay perpendicular. Ibig sabihin, nung nag-intersect yung mga diagonals na yon naka-form ng right angle. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Square, square M A R K, with diagonals M R and A K, that intersects at point O. So ngayon ang sabi dito, itong mga diagonals na to they bisect each other. Ibig sabihin hinati nila yung isat isa into two congruent parts. Kaya si diagonal M R na hati into two congruent segments. So nasa anion. So we have segment M O, which is congruent to segment R O. And dito naman tayo kay segment AK or kay diagonal AK na nahati din into two congruent segments. So nasaan yon So we have segment AO which is congruent to segment KO. Alright? Next, so sabi ulit dito sa ating theorem na yung mga diagonals daw na yan ay congruent to each other. Okay, so we could say that diagonal MR is congruent to diagonal AK, which means equal ang measurement ng mga yan. Okay? And last, ang sinasabi sa theorem, that these diagonals are perpendicular. Ibig sabihin, nung nag-intersect daw, itong dalawang diagonal na to ay nakaform ng right angle. Ibig sabihin, we could say that diagonal MR is perpendicular to diagonal AK. Now, to better understand this theorem, let's have some examples. Quadrilateral RYAN is a square. Complete the following. So, makikita naman natin si square RYAN on the right side of the screen. Alright? On this square, RYAN, we have diagonals RA and YN that intersects at point O. Okay? So, ito yung mga kailangan nating i-complete. Let's have number 1. If the measure of side Rn is equal to 12, then the measure of side Ry is equal to what? Very good. It's 12 then. And the measure of side Ya is equal to what? Very good. 12 pa rin. Bakit natin nasabi na si segment Ry or si side Ry at si side Ya measures parehong 12. Because in a square, all sides are congruent. Kung si Rn measures 12, ibig sabihin the remaining sides are also 12. Alright, let's have number 2. If the segment Ro measures 8, then what is the measure of segment No? Okay, so tatandaan natin na sa square, yung mga diagonals natin ay congruent to each other. And also, they bisect each other. So, kung congruent sila, yung mga diagonals na yan, at binisect nila yung isa't isa into two congruent parts, ibig sabihin, if the segment RO is equal to 8, then what is the measure of segment NO? Very good. It's 8 then. Okay, so yung mga maliliit na segment na nabuo dyan ay pare-pareho ang measure. Alright? Next, number 3. If diagonal NY measures 18, then, what is the measure of diagonal RA? That is, 18 then. Kasi nga, diagonals in a square are congruent. And what is the measure of segment AO? Kung si RA is 18, therefore, AO is equal to, that's correct, it's 9. Kasi nga, yung mga diagonals na yan nababaysek into two congruent segments. So, kung si RA is 19, divide lang natin sa 2, ibig sabihin, AO is equal to 9. Okay? Next, let's have number 4. If the measure of angle R and A, o yung malaking angle yan, so pwede rin natin sabihin na si angle N yan, is equal to blank, then, the measure of angle RON, yung nasa gitna, is equal to blank. 
Okay? So, ngayon, dun mo na tayo kay measure of angle R and A. What do you think is the measure of angle R and A? Or also known as angle N. That is very good. It's 90 degrees. Kasi nga, in a square, all angles are right angles. Okay? And then, what is the measure of angle RON? That is very good. It's 90 degrees then. Bakit kaya 90 degrees then si angle RON? Because the diagonals of a, in a square are perpendicular. Ibig sabihin, nung nag-intersect sila, they form a right angle. Kaya lahat ng angles na nandyan na nabuo sa loob ng square, lahat yan ay 90 degrees din. Alright? Last, the numbered angles are all congruent. And each angle has measure very good. It's 45 degrees. Bakit natin nasabi na lahat ng numbered angles dyan ay 45 degrees? Kasi di ba lahat ng angles in a square measures 90 degrees. Kasi nga, right angles lahat. At dahil yung mga diagonals natin bisects opposite angles, ibig sabihin, dinivide into two congruent angles. So kung i-divide natin si 90 into 2, the answer is equal to 45. So lahat ng numbered angles dyan measures 45 degrees. Alright? Here are the other properties of square. Number one, all sides are congruent. Number two, all angles are right angles. Number three, each diagonal separates the square into two congruent triangles. Number four, opposite angles are congruent and supplementary. Number five, Consecutive angles are supplementary and congruent. And last, number six, diagonals bisect each other, are perpendicular, and are congruent. Alright, so that's our discussion regarding theorems on rectangle, rhombus, and square. If ever na meron pa kayong questions on this lesson, do not hesitate to comment your questions below or mag-send ng private message sa aking Facebook account. Until the next video, bye-bye!